Hey, this is Russell, back again with another episode. So, in order to start off this episode, I realize I have to do something and I have to port over Zebulon Paint to a couple of other systems to keep on selling it. Um, probably should have done that sooner, but it's fine. We'll get it done now. And so let's press the play button. So today, we're just going to be continuing the progress on our... Uh, on uh, basically everything we're doing. There's a little birdie over there. Uh, there's a few updates out since the last one. The basically just adding a lot of new tools for like the build mode and everything. And I'm sure we'll be expanding, so we'll be able to play around with all of those. So yeah, not not this episode we'll be expanding, but we will be expanding in a few episodes. So yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and prioritize the porting on this. And wait for everyone to come in. Start working away again. Uh, everything's staying clean. Everything's working well. And we're starting the porting process. It might have been too much to select everything all at once, but yeah, it's fine. Uh, discussing everything. Yeah, the porting cost is going to take a while, huh? Oh well. Oh uh, well. Uh, we could probably get away with prioritizing programming on you. Yeah. Do I want to do that? Mm. Yeah, let's try to make the porting go a little faster. I feel like we'll be able to make a good bit more money doing that. And we want more money. Uh, how many copies do we have? We have another 24k. Let's order another 100k. Because if we were to look at the details right now, we can only sell to so many people. Uh, where's, where's the, uh, consumer reach? Well, it's still one million. So I guess there still is a lot of people we can reach right now. But this will help. This will help. So yeah, we are developing away. Uh, not much else is going on besides that. We got to get this up to four iterations. Uh, but we, we have the money, we have the profits to do that right now. I say that, but we actually... Oh, the reason we dropped is because I just dropped a ton of money on uh, ordering copies. That's why. No, yeah, we'll, we'll be able to keep uh, up on that. No problem. Uh, how's the marketing going? Are we spending all of the money? Not quite. We're not reaching all the way there. Uh, that is fine, though having a hard time concentrating due to noise uh, most likely because of this still um, unfortunately we're having a meeting just me and that other person I think that was one of the marketing people and we're almost done with iteration 3 just a little bit of 2D progress left and then we'll go through iteration 4 and the reason why it won't really skip is because we have the security guards 2.2 million look at that so yeah, we're, we're making good progress. And then I'm sure on the, the, the third release, we're gonna make some good money too because we'll be piggybacking off of the market recognition that we got before from the previous uh, previous 2D editor, as well as, uh, you know, we, we have a lot more people working on this one. We have more features on it. I still have to figure out a release date for it, but we'll, we'll figure that out a bit closer to the time of release. We want to release it when, uh, again, there's not going to be much traffic. We were kind of screwed over with Zebulon P1, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I played, but if I remember correctly, there wasn't a 2D editor when we first set the release date at the time, but then someone quickly sprang one out of nowhere on us and uh, released a 2D editor around the time that uh, we released ours. So unfortunately, that happened. So that did cut into our profits some, but we've still made a lot and we still made enough to keep growing the company. Uh, 2.5 million is nothing to laugh at. You know, I'd be a pretty happy dude sitting with uh, 
2.5 million in my money bag. Just like Russell money bag is over here. Right here. Look at you. Coding away at your computer. Employees having trouble concentrating. That's this one, most likely because of the people coming here to eat. Uh, it's going to be a problem I have to deal with when, uh, after I'm done expanding this. I'm wondering what I should do um, when I expand. I could just get a new building altogether. Or I could move the service team to another building, put uh, expand the core team. Maybe put a small building here for service and then put a building here and for uh, for maybe 3D and audio. Or I could just, you know, go ahead and build a whole new building real fast and uh, incorporate all of the teams into one building. That might be the way to go. We'll see. People back in the room coding away. And I could do some education too. This porting is going really really slow the consumer reach it's gonna give us after it's done is gonna be amazing and maybe it'll increase our profits some uh, not much marketing but that's because it's August and I believe a lot of people are gonna be on vacation right now it'll be much better uh, next time around we are getting a steady growth in users now that I think we have more market recognition we do have 60k users now which is pretty good uh, we have Oh wow, we only have 58k in stock, so actually sales are picking up some, which is good to hear. Um, let's just order another 30k, just so I'm comfortable in uh, knowing that we, uh, we're we doing well with that. Now it's amazing that we're still selling, but I think it is because we don't have too much competition because of the time we released it. And we will do better next time around because we'll have a lot more market recognition to next time around for the 2D editor. More thunder. And we're slowly making progress on iteration four. Um, let's go ahead and just make my, uh, where's the, uh, this is, yeah, there it is. Let's change back to, uh, Focusing on design for now. Skip to the morning. And yeah, I do like the building in some way. It is, it is a bit boring being a boxy square, a uh, rectangle, I mean. But I like the interior. I'd like to work in a place like this. This is it would be a nice work environment to work in. You know, not like a big skyscraper or anything like that. Uh, that that's the problem. See, they get really upset when everyone comes here to eat. You saw those like little red thumbs up. Yeah. Thirty-seven uh, k. Part of the problem is we don't have a dedicated marketing team. It's just the the support team doing marketing in their spare time. Which I mean, I mean we could we could do it. But we seem to be doing fine right now with uh, the setup that we have. We seem to be doing pretty good, actually. 4.3 million, wow. I'm surprised by how much uh, we're selling now. Let's get another 80k. Employees having a hard time due to noise. Uh, probably after the next release, maybe we can uh, build a small warehouse and start our own printing too. We'll see. Um, I do think I'm going to redesign this building after the next release. Um, just because that's a bit inefficient, having the meeting room in the same spot. Um, it is affecting that person's work. Which is, you know, it's fine. Um, I'm also tempted to send everyone an education. Oh, I think we're finally losing some uh, profit. And that may be because we, we did buy some new uh, copies. Let's see the details. How many people can we still sell to? Still at 116. 106, oh, wait, I have to 
I have to check though. I mean, we've sold 260. No, we still have good with consumer reach. That'll increase though. Uh, after and look at that reputation, we're getting a lot. What are, what happened over here that made our reputation drop? I wonder. Huh. Interesting. Oh no, that's the copies we sell. That's why. What made us lose all those sales? Yeah, now we're not getting a lot of sales all of a sudden. Maybe something was released recently. A competitor. Uh, let's look at uh, recent releases. Where is it at? It's gonna be oh, all software. Someone might have actually released a 2D editor now. Where is the latest release? 2D editor. Yeah, someone released a 2D editor, and uh, now we have competition. We have a someone who's introduced a new 2D editor to the market. That's the thing. And so everyone's buying the new one now. Uh, yeah, 254,000 right off the bat. So yeah, hopefully next time with our really good market recognition now, we'll be able to sell much more copies than we sold with the first one. That being said, we did a decent job. Five million is nothing to laugh at for profit. Nothing to laugh at at all. Check it out. Another meeting. Yada 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 yada. More coding. Code, code, code away. And more marketing. And we could probably. I'm going to go ahead and select education for a lot of these people. So. Let's go ahead. Uh, Rust money bags. What do I want for you? I mean, I don't really care about leveling up your leadership. Uh, sure. Who cares? Let's go for uh, your service guy. So let's do more programming. Let's say system. And. Uh, Maybe it's going to be annoying. Hold on. Let's select everyone but myself so that I don't keep uh, going back to myself. Actually, let's just do the uh, service people first. So let's go ahead and select that. Uh, let's look at service. And let's give you a free marketing. Let's give you programming. Use some... Uh, it's going to support... Let's give you marketing and 2D, 2D, and marketing. There you go. Let's see these guys. And I won't bother adding designer artists to them. And we'll go ahead and for you guys, educate you in everything you guys can do. Uh, let's do system in 2D, so we can do the next level for that. Um, system to help out on that. And then everyone else is going to be 2D, 2D, and wow, 2D level 3. Nice. And that means they'll go away for a few months, all of our people. Um, the office might be completely empty tomorrow, actually. Let's see. But it's worth it, because we're going to come back smarter than ever. Do, 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 do. And is anyone going to come in today? I think not. Oh, we have someone. One person. <laughs> You're not smart enough to get educated, so you'll stay here, I guess. And you'll do marketing. Uh, maybe you should prioritize this. Make sure people don't get angry at us. <laughs> I feel more comfortable doing the uh, 
doing all the education now, now that we've dropped off on sales for a while. It feels right to do it now. And we're going to spend a lot of money on education, I think. Last time around, which is why our income's back down again. And now we got lots of red. Look at that. And that's that was when we educated all of those people. Uh, so a few people come back in today, but not everyone, because everyone has a lot of people do have a lot of education going for them right now. Uh, to support people, hopefully you guys can bring down the queue by quite a bit today. Yeah, check that out. Okay, good. Let's put you back down to one, so you guys can start working on that again. And look at that, we're almost done to uh, for uh, developing that to the next level. And look at that, already people want more education. Uh, you're not, you haven't been educated in any of that yet. So let's make you another marketer. I'd like to boost our marketing a bit more next time around for uh, for the next release. There we go. Eating away. Yeah. So we are going to gain much more market recognition. Develop that. We are going to gain much more market recognition. And if anything, it's going to drop a little. But I think it's going to stay here for a while. Um, and we're going to use that and our 218,000 fans to uh, kickstart our second release. Uh, education, nothing I'm interested in, no one I'm interested in educated right now. And you see our, our profits are finally dropping off so I'm... uh, If we go to details, now our consumer reaches is a bit more because we did port it over but it's a bit too late uh, we're not going to be making much more money off of it because we are an old 2d editor now we are not the new thing anymore but we will be after we're done developing this and yeah nice rainy day out in the middle of the desert uh, let's go explore a town around us a little bit. So, any of these plots we can buy. We can buy, like, the whole city if we wanted to. And uh, replace it with our uh, company. I'm not sure we'll stay in the city. I think we will, actually. Ooh, there's a nice little lake over there. Can we buy the plots next to that lake? That could be a little cool uh, concept for a building. Although, n not gonna lie, this, this lake does look a little bit ugly. It looked a little bit deformed. <laughs> what is that supposed to be? So if I went to build mode, buy plots. No, it won't let you buy this area. Because uh, like when you do the wilderness plots, you can just buy like spots right next to the water. And build like a uh, facility next to the water. I've done that before. It's kind of cool, but not here. I mean, technically we can buy this. But then you have to cross the street to see the water. Um, no, I think I'll basically stay in this plot and uh, either build more buildings or demolish this one and uh, build a nicer building. And yeah, make everything look good. Tomorrow, and we do have some good money to sustain us until our next release. In fact, Probably start time to start thinking about when we want our next release to be. So upcoming releases, 2D editor in 1991. Do we want to release then in 1992? What's coming on 1990? Nothing for 2D editors. Uh, 2D editor, 2D editor. See if I, I'm scared if I, if I uh, schedule mine for 1992, 
everyone's going to be releasing theirs in 1992 because we don't know what's coming around for 1992. If we wait for 1989 to pass, I think we'll get a better idea of what's coming out in 1992. And then we'll be able to anticipate whether we want to release our 2D other in, in 1992. Because we, we could be marketing for 1992 if we wanted to. I don't think we'll be able to release it 1990. I mean, that would be nice because there is no 2D editor in 1990 for sure. No one's going to develop it in that short of a time. You, know, you never know. Somewhat they might spring something on me like last time. But I'm I'm pretty sure uh, 1992 it would be ready. 1991 it would be ready, but there's no point in releasing it at the same time as a uh, big time 2D editor or else we won't make nearly as much profit as we want to. It'll be more like this release was because we'd be competing with someone. I mean, we could try releasing it a few months before their 2D editor. That's another thing we could do. Like release it in uh, August and hope we get enough, uh, we get enough uh, hype around it that uh, we just, you know, completely box them out of the market. But we don't have a big company, so uh, I'm not too confident in my ability to do that. I'll wait as long as I need to in order to make sure that uh, we can release this without any competition. We could even start working on a different kind of program while we're waiting if we have to. We could even be working on a different kind of 2D editor if we wanted to have a uh, third 2D editor that isn't a sequel to Zebulon Paint after this one. It would take longer to develop, but uh, it would be a fresh start. Let's see. Skip the morning. And we, we have plenty of money saved up. Overall, uh, we'll last until, uh, you know, we have to release this. So let's let's wait till the turn of the uh, decade, and I, I do believe we'll be able to upgrade our uh, computers next decade too. So if I just check, uh, replace furniture, 1990. Yeah. So in the 90s we'll get that computer. 95 we get that computer. Ooh, they added a new computer, RGB. What's the difference between that? Better environment and less noise. 2015. Interesting. And December now. Accept and close. Don't tell me how much it is. Fire inspector. Uh, I know they updated the fire inspector stuff. They, they did a few fixes for that. So we'll see if they get cranky about our uh, layout. They weren't cranky about it last time when it was before the update. Cubicle, I know that employee in particular. That poor employee. And yeah, we've, we've made good progress. I mean, we could aim to release it 1990, but then the, we wouldn't have time to uh, to fix the bugs fix many bugs before releasing it, which would make support very hard and make it pretty hard to uh, make it less popular. I want to put out a polished product. We're not putting out any cyberpunks. And January. Uh, so let's see after all of those releases what's coming in 1992. Uh, it doesn't look like any 2D editors. I mean, we could be not seeing the full picture for 1992. Because uh, they have to maybe release a couple more things. Uh, I'm still on the fence about 1992. We'll release it September 1992. Let's set the release date before this episode's over. And, and. The game seems to think we should release it in 1992 also. Not that that means anything. So yeah, let's do September 1992. And we'll get our marketers started on a press release. And release a press build also. And 
get some hype going. Uh, prioritize the press release, probably. Not too much, because we do want to fix that. Uh, five, that's good. And no need to prioritize hype yet, because uh, we don't have any followers for this yet, not until tomorrow. So yeah. And not much more for this episode. Uh, we can go ahead and upgrade the computers right before we end the episode. And there we go. There's the alarm. So we have our new computers. And we have uh, everything we need. 90s computer. That's what it's called. Uh, I, I remember you used, well, we, we had these kind of computers before. Um, I remember when we would use these kind of computers before. Um, this was the kind of computer that our family first had. I'm pretty sure. Big, ugly white thing. So yeah, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. We'll, uh, we'll follow up next episode. Maybe even with the release. I'm not sure if we'll go all the way from 1990 to 1992 next episode. Or if things will take a little longer than that. But yeah, that's the plan. Release this and uh, see what happens. So thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and favorite in the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Have a good one. God bless. Bye. <laughs>